In the world of military aviation, few projects are as mysterious or as shrouded in speculation as the MiG-41. Whispers of its existence have circulated for years, fueling rumors and intrigue among aviation enthusiasts and defense analysts alike. This ambitious project, spearheaded by Russia, is not just another fighter jet, it's a bold leap into the future of aerial combat. The MiG-41 is designed to push the boundaries of what's possible in the skies, promising capabilities that sound almost like science fiction. Officially known as PAC-DP, the MiG-41 is envisioned as a sixth-generation interceptor set to replace the legendary MiG-31 Foxhound, a jet that has guarded Russian airspace for decades and earned a fearsome reputation for speed and power. But the MiG-41 isn't just about speed. It aims to patrol and dominate near space, an altitude far above the reach of conventional jets. This means it could intercept satellites, neutralize high-altitude threats, and strike from heights that were once thought untouchable, fundamentally changing the rules of engagement. Hypersonic, stealthy and potentially unmanned, the MiG-41 blurs the line between traditional fighter and advanced drone. Its rumored top speeds could exceed Mach 4, making it one of the fastest aircraft ever conceived, and its stealth features could allow it to evade even the most sophisticated detection systems. Details remain tightly guarded with only hints and leaks emerging from behind closed doors. The project is already the stuff of legend where hard facts and wild speculation are often indistinguishable, adding to its mystique. More than just a new jet, the MiG-41 represents Russia's intent to redefine aerial warfare. It's a statement of technological ambition, signaling a new era where next-generation avionics, artificial intelligence, and hypersonic propulsion could change the face of combat. Whether this ghostly machine will ever take to the skies remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. The legend of the MiG-41 has already captured imaginations around the globe, inspiring awe, curiosity, and a new chapter in the story of flight. The MiG-41's rumored performance is nothing short of staggering, capturing the imagination of aviation enthusiasts and military analysts alike. This next-generation interceptor is shrouded in secrecy, but the claims surrounding its capabilities are almost unbelievable. According to Russian sources, the MiG-41 will be able to reach hypersonic speeds, reportedly up to Mach 5. That's five times the speed of sound, a velocity that would make it the fastest military aircraft ever conceived far surpassing anything currently in service. Such speed would allow it to outpace not only enemy aircraft but also most modern missiles. At these incredible velocities, the MiG-41 could theoretically cross entire continents in under an hour, shrinking the globe for military operations. It would be able to intercept any known threat with ease, responding to emergencies or hostile incursions almost instantaneously, no matter where they occur. Its operational ceiling is said to reach the edge of space, flying at altitudes where the curvature of the Earth becomes visible. At such heights, the MiG-41 would be nearly untouchable by current anti-aircraft systems, and could even target objects in low Earth orbit, such as satellites or incoming ballistic missiles. Instead of traditional cannons, the MiG-41 is expected to be armed with a new generation of advanced, long-range missiles. These would include anti-satellite weapons and hypersonic interceptors, giving it the ability to strike targets far beyond visual range and defend against threats that were previously considered unstoppable. The aircraft is also rumored to feature cutting-edge stealth technology, making it nearly invisible to radar. AI-assisted controls could allow it to operate either as a manned fighter or as an unmanned drone, adapting to any mission profile and reducing the risk to human pilots in dangerous situations. If these claims are realized, the MiG-41 would truly be a game-changer, capable of appearing anywhere in the world at a moment's notice and rewriting the rules of air defense and global military strategy. Yet, despite the excitement, these extraordinary claims remain unproven. They have sparked both awe and skepticism among experts, with some questioning whether such technology is even possible with today's engineering and materials. As the world watches closely, only time will tell if Russia can truly deliver on these bold promises, or if the MiG-41 will remain a legend of military ambition and imagination. The MiG-41 is Russia's answer to Western sixth-generation fighter programs, like the US Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD. While NGAD focuses on multi-role flexibility and global reach, the MiG-41 is a pure interceptor built for speed, altitude, and homeland defense. 
The US leverages networking and data fusion, while Russia bets on raw performance, faster, higher, deadlier. Yet, Russia's track record is mixed. The Su-57, its fifth-generation jet, faces production delays and limited numbers. The question remains, can Russia leap from a troubled fifth-generation program to a hypersonic sixth-generation marvel? On paper, the MiG-41 is formidable, but building and fielding it is another challenge entirely. Despite grand ambitions and bold claims from Russian defense circles, the MiG-41's development is shrouded in deep uncertainty and secrecy. The project has captured the imagination of aviation enthusiasts and military analysts alike, but hard facts remain elusive. Since its official announcement in 2018 there's been no sign of a physical prototype, no test flights, and no concrete evidence of progress. Just a handful of digital renderings and a series of vague, sometimes contradictory, official statements. The lack of transparency has only fueled speculation about the true status of the program. Russian officials continue to claim that development is moving forward, but the timelines for the MiG-41's debut keep slipping further into the future. Meanwhile, the silence from the manufacturer Mikoyan raises even more doubts about whether the project is truly advancing or simply stalled. The only glimpses the public has received are a few artist impressions and a single low-resolution photo of a scale model. These images hint at a stealthy blended wing design but offer little in the way of technical detail or proof of real-world progress. Without a working prototype or even a full-scale mock-up, it's impossible to know if the radical technologies promised for the MiG-41, such as hypersonic engines, advanced stealth and near-space operational capability, are even remotely viable, or if they remain science fiction for now. The MiG-41 remains a concept on paper, not a reality in the hangar. Technical challenges are immense, and financial hurdles continue to mount, especially as Russia faces economic pressures and shifting defense priorities. For now, the MiG-41 is little more than a shadow on the drawing board, a vision of the future that has yet to materialize, with its fate hanging in the balance. The world continues to watch and wait, hoping for the day when this ambitious legend finally takes flight and proves its existence beyond rumors and renderings. Building the MiG-41 is a colossal challenge for Russia. The project demands billions in funding, advanced materials, and a robust industrial base, resources strained by war and sanctions. Even the Su-57, Russia's current fifth-generation fighter, faces production bottlenecks and funding issues. Mass-producing the far more complex MiG-41 seems nearly impossible under current conditions. Technologically, hypersonic flight brings extreme heat and material challenges while integrating weapons at Mach 5 is uncharted territory. The engine alone, a combined cycle ramjet or turbo ramjet, remains a major engineering hurdle. Without breakthroughs in propulsion and materials the MiG-41's performance claims are science fiction. Russia's ambition is clear, but the obstacles are immense. The dream of the MiG-41 may be out of reach for now. Many experts view the MiG-41 as more propaganda than reality. Announcing hypersonic spacefaring jets projects strength, but Russia's track record, especially with the Su-57, fuels skepticism. The leap from current capabilities to Mach 5, near-space operations and anti-satellite weaponry is enormous. Sanctions and limited access to high-tech components further complicate matters. Most analysts believe the MiG-41's advertised specs are unlikely to materialize soon, if ever, it's seen as a wish list designed to unsettle rivals, not a near-term weapon. The MiG-41 may inspire, but few expect it to fly as promised. So, is the MiG-41 a glimpse of the future or just a hypersonic dream? The concept is bold. A near-space interceptor could change the balance of power. But Russia faces economic strain, industrial limits, and daunting technical barriers. The most likely outcome, the MiG-41 remains a legend, serving as strategic messaging rather than a real weapon. Research may yield a faster, stealthier successor to the MiG-31, but not the Mach 5 Marvel promised. For now, the MiG-41 is a symbol of ambition, a ghost in the machine, a story that fascinates but may never fly. The Shadow Falcon's legacy is secure even if its future is not.